Morning, everyone. This is the News Burst here for a uh, Wednesday morning. 17 degrees, your wake-up temp in Milwaukee. Waukesha at 14 this morning. Early snow, then partly to mostly cloudy and very cold is the storm team forecast from Scott Steele. Two to three inches south, one and two inches in the central part of the viewing area, and an inch to the north is his prediction on the snowfall high today near 20 degrees. In the new slippery driving conditions out there, obviously, again this morning, southwest side, a truck hit a tree and then went flying into an apartment building Building had to be evacuated while crews inspected damage, forcing residents out into the snow overnight. There are growing calls for a state lawmaker from Waukesha to resign. Uh, Bill Kramer accused of sexually harassing women. Vote, uh, Republicans in the assembly voted to strip him of his duties as majority leader yesterday. State Senate, meanwhile, approved Governor Scott Walker's half billion dollar plan to cut property and income taxes. The bill now moves back to the assembly for approval. Back to classes for some students in Racine today as the grade schoolers from Mitchell will be having class in an old building. Mitchell badly damaged by fire last week. They're still working on the school. Teachers, staff, and volunteers even helped get the vacant Win Point School ready for the kids to attend classes today. Tickets for the Brewers' two exhibition games at Miller Park are set to go on sale at 9 o'clock this morning. Kansas City Royals in town at the end of the month, and all the tickets in Miller Park for these two exhibitions are 20 bucks or less. Purdue taking on the Badgers tonight in Madison in College Hoops. UWM advancing in the Horizon League tourney. Next up for the Panthers will be Valparaiso. Marquette dropped a tough double overtime loss to Providence last night. And a local on The Voice gets two chairs to turn. Megan Ruger is from Kenosha County, graduated from Lake Geneva Badger. She is now on Team Blake for this season of The Voice. I'm hopeful. She did good. She could wail. That's a good voice. Oh, yeah. She's in Nashville now, but she's a rocker. She thought like that she would stand out in Nashville doing like 80s rock, you know, with everybody in Nashville trying to do country. But then she went with Team Blake. So a little taste of the country. I think she's got country in her, no oh, doubt. Oh, okay, got it. But she's rocking. <laughs> little bit of country, little bit of rock and roll. Uh, <laughs> this is my musical assessment of this, you know, I've become an expert since I've watched The Voice for several seasons. <laughs>